G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at two figurines that I managed to pick up from Australia's version of uh, Comic Con called Supernova. Um, these figures uh, were on one of the stands yesterday and uh, I've been contemplating getting a Batman Superman figure for a while and um, I suppose being the, the sort of comic convention that it was and the sale prices they had on them, I uh, couldn't resist any longer so here they are. These are two figures brought out uh, in relation to the Superman Batman series. So you can see there from their packaging, Superman Batman. And in particular, they're from the storyline The Search for Kryptonite, uh, which is Series 7 uh, action figures. So I'll spin the back of their packets around. Same packet for both, so I'll only just show you the one. Uh, you can see there we have Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Aquaman and Livewire in the actual Series 7. But uh, the Batman and Superman, as you can see there, is taken from the Search for Kryptonite story or the uh, the graphic novel. So basically, this is the storyline where Batman and Superman have to get rid of all the Kryptonite. So obviously, to help Superman out, so they work together. As you can see there, both figures quite heavily detailed. You can just see Batman there. Uh, the definition, the muscle definition in his torso is just uh, unbelievable. Moving down to his thighs. Articulation-wise. Um, as you can see, we've got the, the bends in the, the elbows. Uh, the wrists, you can move them a little bit, but not superb. And there's some articulation in the knees. He does rotate at the waist, so you can sort of spin him around a little bit. But uh, all in all, probably Batman's restricted a little bit with the due to his cape. Can't take it off, as you can see. It's quite a long cape. Pretty much goes all the way down to the back, uh, all to the floor. And uh, as you can see, he stands quite nicely on his... Superman, Batman logo uh, base plate, which is good. Batman also comes with a little accessory, his little bat um, boomerang, as you can see there, and that just fits quite nicely into his hand, which allows him to throw that. And now we move on to Superman. Again, you can see the, uh, the definition in the sculpt, which is uh, quite superb, and the big S for Superman sitting on quite proudly on his chest. Um, articulation wise is a little bit more in, in, uh, in Superman than there is in Batman because you can actually maybe rotate with the shoulders moving it uh, up and down. He's got it in the wrists and the elbows as well and in his, uh, his knee joints. Once again Superman this figure comes with the, uh, the base plate as well which makes him look quite uh, imposing. And even the cape design, it's not uh, where his Batman just falls down over his shoulders. You can see Superman's almost in that pose where there's a bit of a breeze blowing through the cape. Both capes are, are made of a, a rubbery plastic material. Uh, there's a little bit of give in them, but um, they do uh, make the figures look quite imposing as they, uh, they stand on display. So anyway, I uh, hope you've liked those uh, figure reviews. Uh, hopefully, you know, if you're looking for a Superman figurine or a Batman figurine, um, and you see one of these in a, in a comic store somewhere, um, I really recommend picking them up. I picked them up for a pretty good price. Uh, maybe it was just because it was a sale of the comic convention. But um, all in all, I uh, highly recommend them and uh, think they'd make a great addition to any Batman or Superman uh, fans collection. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. If you hang around, I'll be uh, doing a review soon of the uh, the new Mesets or the my Mesets Hellboy that I've got in my collection there, and um, he'll be up shortly. So anyway, thanks again. Cheers.